Welcome back to episode 4 of Operation Space Panda. Um, my friend has chosen Monolith, so that's where we're going first. First head into Monolith. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding underground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. Yep. It's basically, it's gonna be a race. Building a second barracks will allow to train more troops at a time! Sounds pretty damn obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't actually do that. Huh? Me included. I don't necessarily always remember to do that either. Been waiting on. Not enough minerals. SCV ready! The Zerg severely outnumber the Protoss forces. It is likely the Protoss will fall shortly. Well, here's the plan. Then we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. This better be good. Orders received. SCV ready! Warning. Protoss stalkers are gathering at our perimeter. Transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in Big Bada Boom hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the Marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. I'm on it. Oh, yeah. By the numbers, boys. We'll do. Bad news. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Want more dudes? More dudes? More dudes? Who wants some? I'm on it. Right, make sure that the rollers are up at front because they can just take more. <laughs> SCV ready. That's fine. Got it. Why not? SCV ready. I lost a marauder there. Insufficient okay, we can get gas. More. Ah! Huh? Bad news. Put some dudes on gas and just spam SCVs for a while. Big job, huh? Slowly try to bust through go, here. Go, go. Gangway coming through. SCV ready. Ten four. Oh yeah. There we go. Go, go, go! SCV ready! There. Warning. Incoming Zerg attack wave detected. The numbers, boys. SCV ready! Starting to get some actual money. Armed and ready. SCV ready. Uh, 
Oh hey. Hey. I completely you forgot ain't there's leave your base completely undefended, are you, Jimmy? No, I'm not gonna leave it completely undefended, but my army's not far enough Don't away enough that it's a problem, Tychus. Huh? No lecture on me! What's going on? SCV ready! Uh yeah, we're gonna be fine with just one bunker for Move now. Uh-huh. The doctor is in. You gonna give me orders? Nah, I might be wondering why the heck would I go up here? The reason I go up here is... Ah. Because there's Protoss artifacts back there. Yes, sir. Not enough minerals. Maybe a second Brax. Go ahead. SCB ready. You gonna give me orders? Go, go, go! Gangway. SCB ready. We could use some help here. Oh, SCB ready. Ah, that's fine. It's go time. Lost a lot of supply, get a reactor so we can make more marines faster. We got some infantry armor so we can do it last. The doctor is in. Aye, aye, sir. Go on. SCV ready. Gonna give me orders? Should be stimming. Go, go, go! But I'm not because I'm bad. This better be good. SCB Let's ready. try to get that Protoss relic. Aye, aye, sir. Add on complete. Additional supply depots required. Wait, really? Ah, After all the casualties me. I had. The doctor is in. Don't need a. Huh? Right, uh, What's going on? Tech lab on that one. Uh -huh. right. Big waiting on you. Is there anything Orders guarding? Received. Yeah. Okay. There's photon cannons guarding. Right. Why Good. not? Add on. Complete. It's about to get heavy. Go on. Using air. Ooh. Armed and ready. Zerg, they are this they are creeping good. forward. Just screw it. Production is up. Upgrade complete. We're getting through here, then we're getting out again. You gonna get this? Oh, Bailings! Bailings, 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 Bailings! It's go time! You want a piece of me, boy? Your thing! Well, butter my biscuit! The doctor is in. Not enough minerals. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Armed and ready. 
ready. Uh, get the whole. It's okay, go time. Go. By the numbers, this better be good. I am definitely not doing. Definitely not doing good. A bunch of splidey pos. Been waiting on old with it all. Armed and ready. It's about to get him. Why not? Bad news. Drop a second bunker. Oh, it's on. Not enough minerals. Yes, sir. That many marauders. You gonna give me orders? Affirmative. The doctor is in. The doctor is in. That's fine. Doing on upgrades, by the way. Oh, I did get, I did get all the upgrades. Oh, 
Roger that. Whoop. I got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. Perfect. We got all the Protoss artifacts, and we, we got, got the Zonite artifact. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan. See the carry. Oh wow, I even actually did it within 15 minutes, I think. According to my timer here. That's funny, Convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. I mean, she did at some point declare herself Queen Bitch of the Universe. Her quote. Literally, the words that she used. I caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance. He got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir. I have a good side Guess you heard the Kennedy news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting a Zerg and Dominion all at once is going to take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know, the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. Ah, uh, yes. The mercenaries, which are really damn nice. Start off with the war pigs. For free. They're just extra special beefy marines. Bones health, bones damage. You get four of them at a time, you can get three per mission. And then there's hammer securities. Another uh, really cheap extra beefy sets of marauders. But we'll get to expenditures 
next time. First, let's have a look-see at the news. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. It's uh, pretty dark. Uh, the arcade machine. I'll maybe show that later. Made some new contacts. Let's check them out. Let's quickly go through. Actually, you know what? I'll leave these for the next episode. This one's going to start to run long otherwise. So, um, until... No, wait, wait, wait. Before we go... Oh, almost forgot. Before we go and do all those clickables, got uh, another set of missions. Agria, still from the previous, but also Redstone 3. I hear the mighty Jim Rainer's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around, and with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. Enter... Gabe Tosh. Yeah, so this time, again, rewards a little bit higher than Agria. But research is the same. This time we get the Reapers. Reapers are very fast, maneuverable, lightweight. Um... They really are used for very specialized jobs. Like the one on Redstone 3. Generally the mission in which you get a unit is really a mission where the unit will shine. But there are plenty of other opportunities to make good use for Reapers. Particularly if you actually are a good player and want to scout. Because they move really fast. So yeah. Um, next choice. Agria versus Redstone. That's going to be the choice for... Uh, episode 5. And with that, I will conclude this episode. Episode 4. So until next time, boop!